Chief executive continued pursuing his goal of a better Philippines by engaging world leaders in meaningful discussions on pressing issues and global concerns affecting member countries in day one of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit today. The president is expected to also hold equally important meetings on the sidelines in the coming days to further improve relations with other nations and cement the Philippines' stature as the premier investment destination in this part of the world. Menelas Moras keeps us updated with the latest developments on the president's APEC summit participation live. Yes, Charms President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. scored big in APEC Summit today as he had a successful interaction with several global leaders today here in Bangkok, Thailand. Around 10 o'clock in the morning Philippine time when President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. arrived at the Queen City National Convention Center for the commencement of the 29th Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation or APEC Economic Leaders Meeting here in Bangkok, Thailand. He first attended the retreat session where he interacted with various APEC leaders like Thailand Prime Minister Prayu chan -cha, Chinese President Xi Jinping, Singapore Prime Minister Lee Shen Long, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, and United States Vice President Kamala Harris. During his speech, President Marcos called for revitalization of micro, small, and medium enterprises, and he asked his counterparts to further work together towards achieving economic and social stability, while also rallying support for green post-pandemic recovery. Following this, the chief executive also attended the APEC Leaders Informal Dialogue, APEC Leaders Dialogue with APEC Business Advisory Council, among other meetings. On the sidelines of the summit, President Marcos also talked to Vietnam President Nguyen Xuan Phuc, and he accepted his invitation invitation to visit their country next year. According to the Department of Foreign Affairs, the president's participation in APEC summit has been successful so far. But overall, it seems like the highlight among this all happened during the bilateral meeting today of President Marcos with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman as the latter announced that his government will shoulder the unpaid salaries of around 10,000 overseas Filipino workers who work for Saudi construction companies that declared bankruptcy in 2015 and 2016. Napakagandang balita talaga at uh, pinagandaan talaga tayo ni Crown Prince. Uh, at, uh, sabi niya yung desisyon na yan ay nangyari lamang nung uh, nakarang ilang araw at uh, nakahinga magkikita kami. At uh, sabi niya ito yung regalo para sa inyo. Sila mismo magbibigay ng insurance kung sakali man mangyari ulit yan na malugi yung korporasyon na, din na dinatrabaw ka nila at hindi nila makuha ka nilang sarong yung insurance na uh, pinabayan. So, Marami rin talagang uh, na itutong na uh, tinutulong sa atin uh, pamahalan ng Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Tarm's President Marcos also had a bilateral meeting with his counterpart from France. But as of the moment, we're still waiting for updates regarding this event. And that's the latest from Bangkok, Thailand. Mela Las Moras for the nation. Thank you, Mela Las Moras.